Welcome to our lecture online. Before we do a completely generalized case, we're now going to take our A matrix, the one we've been working with for the last several videos, it's right here. We're now going to find the nth power of that matrix, n can be any number. We're going to set up an equation for this particular matrix, and then we're going to find a to the fifth. We use the same principles again, that a to the nth is equal to the P matrix times the diagonalized matrix to the nth power times the inverse of the P matrix. That the diagonalized matrix is simply equal to the eigenvalues along the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. And the eigenvalues were given from previous videos when we calculated eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of this particular matrix. The P matrix is simply the eigenvectors, which when they're given like this, we can simply plug them in. And to find the inverse of the P matrix, it's 1 over the determinant, and I put little quotation marks on there so we don't confuse it with this D right here, and that would then be the inverse of the matrix. D in this case, the, the determinant is equal to 1 for this matrix, so it's simply going to be equal to right here, 1, negative 1, negative 1, and 2. So let's go ahead and plug in what we have. In the general sense, d to the n power, d to the n power is simply equal to the diagonalized matrix, which each element raised to the nth power and everything else is zero. So that would be the general case of the diagonalized matrix. In our case, for this matrix, the eigenvalues were given to us. So that means that a to the n power is going to be equal to the p matrix, which is going to be 2, 1, 1, and 1, multiplied times the diagonalized matrix to the n power. That would be, in this case, negative 1 and 3, 0, 0. And you're going to then take each of the elements and raise them to the nth power. We'll use parentheses there so we know that we have a negative number right here. And then we multiply times the p inverse, 1, negative 1, negative 1, and 2. All right, now we'll go ahead and do what we did before, simply multiply this together as is. So the first multiplication of these two matrices, we get 2 times this plus 1 times 0, which gives us 2 times negative 1 raised to the n power, here we get 2 times 0 plus 1 times 3 to the end, so this is 3 to the n power. Here we get 1 times this plus 1 times 0, so it's 1 times negative 1 to the n power. And here we get 0 plus 1 times this, or 3 to the n power. And then we multiply that times 1, negative 1, negative 1, and 2. Now we need to make one more multiplication. We multiply these two matrices together. It's going to get a little messy, but it'll work. So 1 times this minus 1 times that, which means we get 2 times negative 1 to the n power minus 3 to the n power for our upper left element. This element right here, we get negative 1 times this plus 2 times this. That means minus 2 times 1, I'm running out of room, so this becomes minus 1 to the n power, so it's negative 1 times this, plus 2 times this, plus 2 times 3 to the n power. To get this element right here, we multiply these two together, 1 times this, minus 1 times 3 to the n power, and finally, to get this element right here, it's minus 1 times this, minus 1 oops, times negative 1 to the n power, so minus 1 times this, plus 2 times this. There we go. There's our generalized result of a to the n power. Now, if we're trying to find a to the fifth power, we just simply replace all the n's by 5. That means that a to the fifth power is equal to 2 times negative 1 to the fifth power minus 3 times to the one fifth times. power. Minus 1 to the fifth power plus 2 times 3 to the fifth power. Now a negative 1 to the fifth power is simply negative 1. And a 3 to the fifth power is, let's see, that's 27, 81, that's 243. Which means 
Let me simplify this, we get the following. 3 to the fifth power is 243, that's minus 243, and this is minus 1 times 2, minus 243, minus 2 is minus 245. For this element right here, we have 3 to the fifth power, which is 243, times 2, that would be 486, and minus 2 times minus 1 to the fifth power. So minus 1 to the fifth power is minus 1, times a negative 2 is a positive 2, times 243 times 2, that's 486 plus 2, that's 488. Over here, we get 3 to the fifth power, which is 243 times a minus, minus 243, and then this is minus 1, the minus 243 minus 1 is minus 244. And over here we get, again, 3 to the fifth power is 243 times 2 is 486, and minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1, 46 plus 1 is 487. And this is a to the fifth power. Now you're beginning to see that as the power gets larger and larger, this method becomes a fairly nice method to use, rather than just multiplying the matrix over and over and over again, multiple times. So here's a nice way to find the generalized formula for a to the fifth power. Now in the next video, we're going to do this again, but with even more generalized terms, so you can see how the formula actually looks. And that's how it's done.